and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some behind the scenes of an art retreat that I just returned home from. Last week I was lucky enough to spend six days teaching a group of lovely women artists at Headspin in Tasmania. For my overseas friends, Tasmania is a state in Australia that's not part of the mainland. It's an island that sits just below Victoria in the south and it has been it's well known for its world heritage sites and landscapes and just general all-round beauty. So this workshop is one of many that is arranged and run by Artable and this is the second time I've been here for one of these retreats. So this retreat was originally scheduled for October in 2020, however restrictions on travel between the states and Australia meant that it had to be postponed until now which is February 2021. The accommodation for the retreat is at the beautiful Red Feather Inn, which was originally built in the 1840s and has been renovated into a collection of bed and breakfast accommodations. The last time I was here, it was actually the end of spring and this time it was the end of summer. So all of the fruit trees in the orchard and on the grounds were full of fruit and there were flowers and bees everywhere. <laughs> so much green. I filmed most of these clips on the second last day because I only decided at the last minute that I should really turn this into a video so that everyone can see how gorgeous it all is. But we were so lucky with the weather. It was sunny and mild every day, you know, just warm enough to not need a jacket or a jumper, but also not too hot. Although the Red Feather Inn is in the middle of suburbia, it feels like you are in the middle of nowhere because it's so quiet and peaceful. On the first day of the retreat, I made everyone make these simple and small art journals just out of watercolour and tape to use as travel journals while we were here. Most of the time, however, we were working in acrylic on paper and creating impressionist style artworks. While we were here, we had access to the old converted barn to use as our studio space. The art workshop side of things of this retreat is actually really relaxed and casual. To be honest, it hardly feels like work at all, all that I'm teaching, because I'm kind of just hanging out with friends. Uh, we spent five days in the studio and I took everyone through some basic acrylic painting techniques. We worked on some landscapes and some florals and we were all also really inspired by the pears and the fruit trees. So we had to kind of have a go at painting those as well because the pear tree was huge and the fruit was literally falling off them. So it would have to have been part of the original orchard that was planted in the 1800s. And it was just amazing to, to look at. Um, we also spent one day at a beautiful rose garden and the heritage estate. We walked through um, to the river, which runs through Headspan. And we also went out to dinner in Launceston. So these five days workshops are such a great getaway. And by the end of the week, everyone is friends and getting along like we've known each other for ages. Because besides two people, no one else had met. And sometimes that can be really, you know, nerve wracking, knowing that you're going to be going and spending almost a week with 
people that you don't know, you've never met them before. But I always find with these kinds of art retreats and getaways that everyone is there for the same thing and everyone that's coming to these retreats are really, they're all the same sort of person. You know, they're all creative and wanting to learn and to make friends and just enjoy the space. So everyone always gets along really well by the end of it all. So this is just some footage from inside the studio uh, on the second last day that we were here. Like I said, we were all going a little bit pear crazy. And so this is just some footage of me painting some of the pears based on the photos I took and also some of the work of the other ladies that I you know, they all did such a great job. It was really great to watch all of the artists grow in confidence over just a few days. Um, most didn't have much experience working with acrylic or some of them no painting experience at all. Some of the artists that came normally work in either watercolour or oil. So acrylic is very different from both of those mediums. So everyone else, everyone started out a bit cautious and a bit worried, but by the end of the week, they were creating with a lot more boldness and confidence, as you can see. And these were all, uh, these were all in the last day of the studio. So, so you can see that, well, I don't really show much what, have, what they were doing beforehand, but let me tell you that the confidence in these artworks is, 10,000 times more more evident than the first few that they did. I was also obsessed with the fat little bubble bees that were everywhere. These guys are not native to Australia and they're actually not found on the mainland anywhere else. So it was a real novelty to see them buzzing around. Um, they're at least like twice the size of our normal bees and I just think they're adorable. So every time I saw them, I had to take a video of them because I don't know, they're just so cute. I love them. While we were here, we were spoilt by Gillian, who is the owner of Audible. Normally the Red Feather will cater for um, all the food for these retreats, but because we had a slightly smaller group of people compared to normal, Gillian was able to do all the catering herself. So she loves cooking and we were treated to some amazing meals. She even used up some of the hundreds of pears laying around to create cakes and treats and also vegetables from the vegetable garden. So this here was one of our last meals that we had together. Gillian cooked up a beautiful traditional sort of roast dinner with lots of veggies and it was just really rustic and homely and everybody loved it. And uh, when people ask me about these retreats, I always tell them to come for the art and stay for the food. <laughs> If this vlog has tempted you, then you'll be happy to know that Artable and I are coming back again in October this year. I will add a link to Artable in the description and also to the Red Feather Inn. So if you want to look at the accommodation or find out more about these art retreats, you can do so through those links. Now that I'm home again, I'm just going to take a few days break to sort of, you know, tone myself down a bit and relax. And then I'll be getting back into the studio and getting back into regular work. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this and make sure that you leave a like and a comment and if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you are notified when I have another video up and I will see you all next time.